G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to download, install and set up the Warzone Pro Pack for your Kronos Zen. The first thing you'll need to do is grab your mini USB cable out of the three cables that come with the Zen, short one, medium one, long one, you need the medium one. You need to plug the mini USB end into the side port of the Zen and the other end into your PC or laptop. Now to download and install this script we need to open the Zen Studio. Once that's open, we head over to Programmer and we find the Call of Duty Warzone Pro Pack in this list, which is this one here. We now drag that onto a free slot on the Zen. And once that's on there, if nothing pops up straight away, click this number here and this will bring up your slot configuration. Okay, now this part's important. We need to go through here and we need to match our settings with our in-game settings, okay? So the first one is your button layout. I play on default. If you play on tactical or any of the others here, you need to choose that button layout. That's the same for stick layout as well. You need to choose whatever stick layout you play on. Stick sensitivity, match horizontal and vertical in-game. Okay, so I play on 6.6, 6, for example. So I'm gonna, I need to put that on 6 there. Uh, now, aim response curve type, mine is standard. If you play on linear or dynamic, you need to choose that as well. The dead zone, I play on 0 0.10. So this means I put mine on 10, like that. Okay, now the global mods here. The global mods is stuff like your hair triggers, the slide cancel, uh, other stuff like that. I personally like to have mine on number eight here. So I have hair triggers and slide cancel activated at all times. Anti-recoil mode, I like to have that on quick edit as well. Aim assist intensity, I also like to leave that on 15. Turning that up is not going to give you anything even remotely close to aimbot. Leaving it where it is won't do the same either. Uh, as we know, when you play on a controller, there's an inbuilt aim assist. What this will do is give you a boost to that aim assist that's already in the game. Now, moving down the list here, Profile switch mode, this is also important. We need to change that one to weapon swap. Weapon profile features, I like to have those all disabled. It's up to you what you like to do. I like to have those all disabled and that's my recommendation. Moving on to the weapons, as we can see here, it says class one primary weapon. So what you need to do is look at what your class one primary loadout weapon is in Warzone. Now for me, I use the Grau, so I'm gonna go down here and choose the Grau out of this list. Uh, if the weapon you're choosing is on this list, if you use anything more than the regular amount of bullets that it comes with, you need to choose the extended mag option if it's there. Uh, but for me, that's not there. I just choose Grau 5.56. Primary anti-recoil strength, I'm going to leave that at 100. And the reason why is because it's much better to sort that out once you're in the game because you don't know what the anti-recoil value needs to be. So it is better to leave that just for now. Class 2 primary ADS mod, we're going to put that on aim assist. Going to leave the next one going to leave the next one and we move down to our secondary weapon. What you need to do is choose the secondary weapon you have in your loadout. So we can go through here. The Cold War weapons have recently been added to this game pack as well. So if you use, let's say, for example, the, the MAC-10, let's go to find MGs, MAC-10, there we go. All right. Again, anti-recoil strength, leaving that at 100. We're going to sort that out once we're in the game. Just down below that, class 5 secondary ADS mod, we're going to put that on aim assist as well. And you can have a look at these two if you like. Uh, there's drop shot mods and stuff there, but I like to keep those disabled. Going a little bit further down the list now to this purple one, you'll see block game rumble. I've got that enabled as well. And it's uh, good for you to do the same. Once you've matched all the settings and set up your weapons, we can press close and now press the program device button over here on the left to save all that. A great success. Okay, now that's saved, we can close down Zen Studio. We can unplug the Zen and plug it back into the console. Okay, so I've just jumped into a private lobby to work out this anti-recoil. For Cold War weapons, it's best to go into Plunder. So I'll do the Growl here and then the MAC-10 in Plunder. Here we go. If we remember from the slot configuration, we left the anti-recoil strength for this weapon on 100. The first thing we need to do is test out that anti-recoil strength of 100 to see how it goes. All right, so test it out on the default of 100 strength and see what happens. Okay, straight away, without even emptying a full clip, you can see the anti-recoil value of 100 is way too strong. What we need to do now is adjust that. And we do this by going into the mod menu. You press the button showing at the bottom of the screen. As you can see there, it says menu, view, menu. So view and menu are the buttons I need to press. And there we go. Once I hold those buttons for about one second or half a second, uh, it goes into the menu here. Now using either uh, R1, L1 or the bumpers, RB, LB on Xbox. You can go through the menu here. We need to move over to primary weapon. 
that shows our weapon there. If you want to change the weapon, you can do so with up and down on the D-pad, but we're going to work it out for this one now. So what we need to do is press A. This will take us to that primary anti-recoil strength. Now we know 100 is too strong, so we do need to reduce this, and we do that by pressing the D-pad. So I'm pressing left now on the D-pad to reduce this. Let's try bringing this down to... Let's try bringing it down to 60, because it was way too strong. Now, once you've got the value you're happy with, press B or circle, B or circle again, and then A or X to save that. All right, now we test out the new recoil value. Okay, so it still goes down just a tiny little bit. So what we need to do now is go back into that menu, back into this, back into this one, and reduce this a little bit more. So I'm going to try 50. Back out, save, and then try again here. And there we go, a little bit of movement upwards. We can probably fix that too. We go back into the menu, back into the anti-recoil strength. And because it's now going up a little bit, we can increase this value. So let's try 54. Back out, save. Right, so try the new value of 54. And there we go. It did move down a tiny bit, so you could probably reduce that from 54 to 53 and, and have that pretty nice, but I'd be happy with that. It depends on, you know, what you'd prefer. If you'd be happy with that, go for it, start playing. If not, play with the numbers a little bit more until you get to where you're happy with. Okay, so we're now in a plunder match. We're going to work out the values for the MAC-10. Now, what we need to do, switch to the MAC-10. As you can see on the Zen there, it switches to the secondary, and it says MAC-10. And now it does that because in the slot configuration, uh, we change that one setting from manual to weapon swap. So now every time you swap weapons, it changes from primary to secondary on the game pack. All right, so this is still left at 100. Um, I'm fairly confident this is going to be way too strong for it, but see how we go. Yep. So what we do is we go into the menu, we go over to our secondary weapon, into the anti-recoil strength, and we now re reduce this. So let's try bring this down to 75. I can hear footsteps. Get out of here. I'm trying to do science TTV, as I was saying, if I was really interrupted. 70, save. All right, let now let's try 70. There you go. I mean, that's pretty good. There's a little bit of movement there, but again, I'd be happy with that. You might not be. If you're not, you can go back in. You can adjust those numbers some more until you get something that you are happy with. And yeah, so that's how you set up the weapons. Give it a go yourself. Get out there. Enjoy laser beaming people.